Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to continue with the Hive Mining OS version 2.0. But before we do that, as always, please consider subscribing to the channel and also turn on post notification so you always know when I upload a new video. So regarding to the Hive Mining OS, uh, if you don't know already, now you can go to my channel, then go to the playlist which I have created and in here you have a playlist with only the videos of the Hive Mining OS. So if you, uh, if you haven't watched the previous version uh, of the, or the previous videos uh, and the steps you need to take uh, in order to work with the Hive Mining OS, then I invite you to go to this playlist and begin with the first one, which is the one uh, which you learn how you can, um, uh, how you can uh, flash your, uh, your Hive Mining OS to your, uh, to your flash drive or SSD and then hook it up to your rig so you can begin mining and then you just leave these two videos but you can watch them uh, if you like to but they are uh, for the for the uh, for the older version of the web page so then you can begin uh, with the new series of the hive mining os version 2.0 so after you have watched them then you can begin with the uh, with this video or the new video that we are going to make so uh, basically we are uh, uh, we are on the phase that uh, we have uh, flashed our uh, system to our USB drive or SSD, hook it up to our mining rig. Then we have um, uh, we have gone to the point w where we have to enter our rig ID and the password in order to uh, to enter to the Hive Mining uh, OS system and begin mining. So basically now. Uh, after we have created uh, our account, obviously, if you haven't, you can go to the video description and in there you can find my link. So you can use my link or my coupon code, uh, my promo code in here, Billion Blockchain. And if you use that, you get uh, you get immediately ten dollars for free. And obviously, you you have my channel grow uh, by by using my link. So after you sign in to the new web. Uh, web page F, as you have watched the previous videos already we have created our farms if you have multiple farms obviously and we have added our rigs uh, to our farms so basically the next step we are going to do now uh, after we create our farm and our rigs to our farm obviously is to create the wallets because we want uh, to have our wallets created in order to uh, in order to uh, configure the miner and then begin mining. So basically for this uh, purpose we are going to use my current farm and my current mining rig as you can see in here basically it's the same thing after you create your farm and you add your mining rigs they are gonna come uh, online after you enter your rig ID and the rig password on your mining rig uh, when it asks you to um, uh, to enter them and then the rig will be online but obviously not mining. So now the first thing you need to do let's go again uh, in here you go uh, and sign in or log in to your account then you go to your farm and then in here you have the wallets so the next step is to create a wallet obviously we can add the wallets directly to the flight sheet but uh, for the purpose to see what wa uh, what we can do with the wallets uh, I'm gonna show you in this uh, in this case because um, it makes our job even easier when you when we then use our uh, flight sheets so then we go to wallets as you can see in here I have already three wallets in here and obviously you won't have any so we are going to create a new one and to create a new wallet it's really easy let's copy this address in here because we are going to create an Ethereum classic wallet but obviously we can create an Ethereum wallet, CLO wallet or any coin which we like basically it's the same thing okay so we need to have our uh, wallet address and we click on add wallet in here then we choose the coin uh, for this case i am going to use ethereum classic we enter the wallet address we can enter a wallet name i like to call my wallets this way you can choose your own name it doesn't matter and then you hit create and we have just created uh, a new ethereum classic wallet as you see in here i have this one which i uh, which I um, just created and this one it's the one I had before so now that we have a wallet we need to uh, to add this wallet to our miner and obviously configure our miner so our mining rig can begin mining okay now if we go to our worker workers and click on the worker where where we want to add the wallet that we just created for example we go to the flight sheet because uh, it's in here where you set your miner to mine 
a certain coin with a certain miner and wallet as you can see in here you can see only three wallets not the wallet that we have just added and the reason is because we need to configure that wallet and add it to a flight sheet and obviously add it to the uh, to the miner and obviously configure our miner so it will show up in here and we can set that wallet and that particular miner to mine with this rig so basically uh, what we need to do th uh, next after we have added our wallet as you can see in here this is the one that we have just added then we go to the flight sheet in here and uh, in here we begin to uh, enter our wallet and obviously configure our miner with that wallet so we choose our coin which in, in this case is ethereum classic then uh, we add the wallet so the reason why i first create the wallet is because then you can go in here open this page and you can directly or immediately select the wallet that you have just created but if you haven't created a wallet you can create it uh, directly from here you click on this one and basically it's the same thing that we did on the wallets but you can do it right away in here but if you have already created a wallet and uh, let's say for example you have added a new rig you don't have to create a new wallet but you just go to the flight sheets uh, select the coin and then you can directly select the wallet that you have added before so this is to make things easier let's say okay this is the new wallet that we created uh, just minutes ago okay let's just select the wallet then obviously we're going to select the pool in here you can see that there are uh, I think most of the pools that um, anyone uses but the uh, but the most used obviously are ethermine f2 pool uh, nano pool I think for ethereum and ethereum classic these are the main pools that are used obviously uh, two miners I use two miners uh, and pool has create uh, has a very a very high hash rate but obviously if you don't see your uh, particular mining pool that you want to use if your mining pool your preferred mining pool your pool it's not in here then you can go um, at the end of the list and you can configure your own mining pool but i'm pretty sure you are going to use nano pool for ethereum or uh, ethermine so since i use ethermine i select ethermine in here i select the european server because i am on the european servers uh, if for example the European server number 444 doesn't use you can use another one but since, uh, since uh, another port it's not on the list you just click on the advanced configuration and you can set your port because uh, as you may already know ethermine has uh, i think two uh, european uh, uh, pools so if the first one doesn't work then you can uh, select another one in this case i'm going to uh, I'm going to select the 444 port so you just click apply we have selected our pool we select our miner in this case obviously it's going to be claim or dual miner which is going to be the same for most of you then uh, it pops up the second line if you want to dual mine but in my personal opinion dual mining it's not profitable but if you have for example very 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 cheap energy or you don't care about the energy because you don't pay anything or you don't care about your mining cards because uh, with dual mining the your mining uh, your video cards uh, will get stressed uh, even more will consume more will heat up more so uh, they will die even faster at least in most of the cases so i don't recommend it uh, to use dual mining but you can choose whatever you want so basically it's the same thing you choose the coin then uh, choose the wallet then uh, you choose the pool the intensity of mining and so on then you can put the name of your flight sheet for example let's say etc test since we are just making a test in here so you can uh, uh, we can differentiate, uh, dif uh, differentiate sorry <laughs> this um, this wallet from other wallets as you can see it's this name in here which goes in here and um, yeah that's uh, it uh, basically you are all done but if uh, for some reason as i told you on the previous video you want to set um, some different parameters on the claim or dual miner then you just click on the setup miner in here and you don't have to change anything basically uh, in this template because the program will take 
uh, will take all by itself and as you can see since we are mining ethereum classic it has added even some parameters which uh, we need for ethereum classic all coins etc one and all uh, all pools one which are parameters we need to set when we mine ethereum classic and on the older version you have to enter these parameters manually in this new version 2.0 of of hive mining os uh, the system or this web page does it all automatically but obviously you need uh, if you need to enter other parameters which i do for example because i want to set my own fan speed and to be able to do that and uh, not to mess with the auto fan i just enter dash tt or minus tt whatever you want choose the latest version obviously uh, so when you add this parameter in here uh, dash or minus tt you can set your own fan speed and you will be sure that the auto fan will not interfere with your values so basically that's it you don't have to change anything else in here uh, because obviously uh, the url from uh, uh, from the pool that you have selected if uh, the pool uses the url uh, you have to enter it before uh, you create uh, the flight sheet when you create your wallet and your mining rig uh, so that's why you don't have anything wallet obviously we have entered the wallet before worker name we have created the worker name before when we created our mining rig that's the worker name so it grabs it all uh, automatically and obviously the password uh, basically in the 99% of the cases is X so you don't have to do anything else as you can see in here for example you can set uh, you can set the fan speed with this parameter, you can set um, uh, the temperature target, you can disable uh, disable fan control. Oh, so, uh, oh, okay, disable fan control. I don't want to disable fan control, I want to en enable fan control. But obviously you, uh, we can try this out, I will try it like this. If it doesn't work, then you just add one like, uh, like this uh, information shows in here, but I'm pretty sure uh, it will work without the one so we just click on apply and you have configured your miner as you desire after you have done that then you just click on create flight sheet and flight sheet successfully created now as you can see we have four flight sheets in here this is the one that we have just created it is a test now when we go to our worker if you remember from before when you go to the flight sheet on your worker we had only three wallets or flight sheets in here now we have the new one because uh, it will show up in here after we have added our miner and after we have configured our miner so basically what we uh, what you need to do then you just go again let me show you then you go to your mining rig again go to the flight sheet in here and basically you just click on this button in here and it will begin mining ethereum classic uh, in this case ethereum classic but in your case whatever coin or whatever miner you choose uh, to mine so uh, you know what let me just try it what happens let click uh, let me click this one worker updated successfully as you can see in here configuring now which means that um, uh, the system now has stopped my, uh, my mining rig and it will set up to mine ethereum classic uh, with the new with a new setup that we uh, that i just showed you so let's just wait up uh, a little bit and after it begins mining i will show you that it is mining okay guys as you can see now i have been mining ethereum classic at uh, with the wallet that we just created and it is uh, mining fine and at, uh, if we go to the ether mine uh, page uh, obviously we need to go to the ethereum classic pool we enter our uh, our ethereum classic uh, wallet in here or address and uh, as you can see uh, my worker is mining obviously remember that it will take at least uh, 10 minutes uh, for the results to show in the ether mine pool so don't worry if you see anything for at least 10 minutes and after 10 minutes maybe maximum 15 minutes you will begin seeing and getting your hash rate and as you can see reported hash rate 86 mega hashes obviously current and average are low because this is only the first um, session of shares 
uh, as you can see the speed is 86.85 which is correct but there is uh, a slight problem with my configuration that I uh, just did as you can see the temperature at our uh, pretty high at uh, 70 70 60 and the reason is because the the auto fan has kicked in uh, and the fan is at 27 percent 30 percent 22 percent but obviously i have mine set on 60 percent so the reason is because when we created the flight sheet and uh, configured our minor uh, our minor there i i didn't um, I put the uh, as you can see the uh, the parameter here minus TT but I should have put it in minus TT1 as the uh, as uh, as it suggested in here the information as you can see minus TT1 so let's do that and see if that changes minus TT1 apply changes update you click update obviously all workers because uh, if you have different workers with the uh, with the same wallet then it will apply to uh, to all of the wallets then you click on the worker so uh, it can um, it can configure our miner and let's see what happens now with the with the speed of our fans if it will change or not okay now the configure is updated and as you can see now the fans are at 60 percent obviously one it's at 70 percent because i have set it at 70 as you can see fan speed 60 the first 70 the second and 60 percent the third and as you can see the changes uh, uh, are saved so remember when uh, if you want to set your own fan speed then you need to add to the flight sheet to the wallet which you want to create you need to add the parameter minus tt space one so you can be able to set your own uh, your own fan speed so basically that's it for today in the next episode we are going to talk maybe about the overclocking and tuning i hope this one was clear sorry that the video took too long to make and yeah thanks very much for watching again guys if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel also invite your friends uh if they want to join us and uh, yeah see you guys on the next one bye bye